guys, as you guys can tell, car parts are finally here. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys already know what's in this box. Because if you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys will see the post that I posted. And what I actually got was in this box. But, uh, it's finally here, guys. I'm, I'm honestly super excited and I'm ecstatic to actually be doing this and finally actually do it. So it's going to be a journey. It's going to be an awesome journey and it's going to be a long one. So I hope you guys stick with me and we're going to get it. So let's get it. So before we get into actually opening the box and showing you guys what I actually got, um, I'm not really expecting this part to fit on my car since it's not meant for my car. So I don't really technically expect it to actually fit really perfect. When I bought this, I didn't take into consideration where the gas tank was on the FRS because on the TC, as you guys can tell, it's on the left side. And I saw an FRS the other day after I had already bought this product and I noticed that it was on the right side. So I already know there's gonna be already gonna be one flaw with it. So just with that, I'm pretty sure I'm giving it away on what, what's in this box and what I got. Unless you guys are following me on Instagram, like I said, uh, you guys already would know what's in this box. So without further ado, let's open the box. Honestly, I don't know what to expect, but uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready. You know, I've been wanting to do this for a long time and you know, it's finally here. Uh, I also forgot to mention that uh, I only have the rears right now and I don't have the fronts. Uh, the fronts are still being produced, so I still gotta wait on those. So we're gonna have another video on that. So for now, we're just gonna do the rear. Oh, and also, these are not ABS plastic. These are actually FRP reinforced fiberglass with plastic. That way it's easier to actually like work with and keep fiberglassing over it. So I'm recording this part right now in the future me um, already having gone through this process, not finishing the, the, the kit yet, but I have learned a couple things here and there and there are some things that I wish I would have known when I first started or I know there's some things that you guys want to know or want to have questions clarified and whatnot regarding buying ABS plastic kit rather than buying an FRP uh, fiberglass reinforced plastic kit. Um, personally, the way that I see it is fiberglass reinforced plastic is a way better off kit to buy. Let's start off by talking with the ABS plastic. ABS plastic, I mean, you can form it a lot better to the body. Um, all you have to do is just heat it up. You heat up the plastic and you drill it onto the car. Um, pretty much, that's all you pretty much do. Sometimes it like bevels out and whatnot, so you gotta add a little bit more screws, but it is a lot easier to put it onto the car, having less seams in between the fender flare and the body. The only thing that's hard with ABS plastic is adding material. It's a lot harder to add material because you gotta cut it and make it fit to the car. That's one of the things that I wanna talk, touch bases later on right now, I'll talk about it. But adding material is a little bit harder. You gotta find ABS plastic, you gotta buy a, uh, whatchamacallit, a plastic welder, and not even that, sometimes when you weld in between, say you're adding like a piece of sheet like this big, like it's not gonna even through, so you gotta put Bondo, um, and sometimes Bondo doesn't really stick that great to plastic, sometimes, depends what you use, sometimes they tell you you gotta use a uh, specifically made plastic repair Bondo type thing in order for it to stick, so and that's kind of expensive because I've used it on my car before to repair plastics and whatnot. Um, so there's some people that don't want to spend that much. They just use Bondo and over time, over the years, oh crack. Um, so that's a little bit touching bases on ABS plastic. Now touching bases on FRP, fiberglass reinforced plastic. To me, I feel like it's a lot harder. It's more tedious to work with trying to get it fit to the body. But it is a lot easier to add material, take off material, and get it the way that you want it to be. And of course... FRP, fiberglass reinforced plastic, is a lot easier to break, like if you get in an accident and whatnot, of course plastic will probably go back to its normal shape and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I mean, FRP is a lot easier to work with, it's just tedious 
with time. To this day, I've seen a couple people try and use ABS plastic. That's mostly what I see being done now is ABS plastic. They don't really want to go with the fiberglass because it'll crack with them trying to screw it onto the body because that's what everybody wants to do. They want the finished product as quick as possible. They buy the ABS plastic, they screw it onto the car with no, they heat it up, screw it onto the car, no pressure needed. Um, it's not gonna crack because it's plastic. So all you gotta do is heat it and screw it on. And like the ones that I've seen that they try to just bolt it onto the car using as many screws as possible or trying to use the screws where it's actually meant to go there's some bevel points onto the fender flare between the fender flare and the body there are like some small little gaps which it doesn't i guess it doesn't bother them to me it bothers me i like it to be super tight the fitment perfect like no gaps at all which is why i went with fiberglass reinforced plastic and from i mean most of them too when you see them when they use abs plastic they don't really take the initiative or the extra step to make it fit their car they have like gaps between where it should line up to but they just basically just bolt it on like that because it's quick it's easy it's fast but it doesn't look right yeah everybody has a different opinion maybe it looks good to them and whatnot but to me i respect it i 100 percent respect the effort in trying to do it but if you're gonna do something might as well do it right do it right the first time and get it to fit the body the way that it's supposed to fit um yeah it's not meant for the car so how are you supposed to do that cut it make it fit that's basically what i've done um you'll see it in the next couple of videos because i'm re-uploading everything um because i kind of want to make it short and i kind of want to explain some things that i've learned throughout trying this process out but if you do i mean there's nothing wrong with trying to go with the abs plastic route there is ways that you can go around it um by using as many screws as you can you do a countersink hole onto the the kit you screw it down as many points as you can without creating any gaps you, you know, i mean the the screws are going to be below the the plastic point and all you have to do is bond it to the car um, it won't be bolt on because it'll look nasty it'll look ugly if it's bolt on because you'll see all those screws but if it's bonded onto the car i mean it won't look bad at all especially if you have like say this much of a gap that the kit doesn't line up you can blend that in and people won't even notice but from the pictures that i've seen online on instagram they don't even take the time to blend it in they just bolt it on and they have like massive gaps and keep in mind I don't know what everyone's going for. Maybe they're not going for um, making it try and fit to their car. Maybe they just want to bolt it on and that's it. That's that's totally fine with me. If you want to do it like that, do it like that. But me personally, if you're going to try and do something, spend the money on doing something like this, might as well do it right the first time. But to me, fiberglass is definitely the way to go when trying to work with... Um, when trying to do this type of project, fitting a kit from a different car to fitting it onto your car. Um, there's so much more variability i guess you could say or much more leniability if that's even a word of getting it fit to the car you can open up gaps you can fill it in you can do so much stuff with fiberglass that's pretty much what i want to explain um from the segment of if you want to buy abs plastic from what i think about buying abs plastic kit to buying a fiberglass kit so hopefully that helps you guys out let's continue on with the video because i think with the abs plastic it would be a little bit harder but uh, even though i don't know anything about fiberglassing you know it's gonna be a new thing for me to actually challenge myself and you know it's gonna be something different but it's, we can do it I'm pretty sure we can do it so I guess these are the ends and these are the actual fender flips Woo. I'm guessing this is the this is the left side which like I said the left side is supposed to have uh, the hole for the for the fuel cap for the TC it's on the left side so this is the left side so I guess the right side is gonna have the fuel cap for the FRS so that's something we're gonna have to work with already like I was saying uh, here we go here's the right side Honestly, they don't look really that bad. They're pretty nice. Ooh, flaw right here. It's broken right here. So I'm guessing there's a piece. Yep. So I guess they chipped it or it came broken on the shipping or I don't know, but it's broken. 
So I guess that's something we're gonna have to fix, fiberglass over it. So I'm actually super excited, so you know what we gotta do? We're gonna have to put these on the car right now. Just hold them up with tape just to see how it looks like. So let's go put them on. So we're gonna start off on the left side on the TC. And before I actually put it on the car, I'm just gonna tape up around the edges just so I don't scratch my car. So I'm just gonna tape it up all around here. Make sure you lay that bubble wrap, major key. Major key to success right here. Bubble wrap. On side. Oh, I didn't even notice this right now. So it looks like this one's actually coming off a little bit. It, it wants to break, but it's not really that broken that much. So that's not really big of a deal. This one you can just bondo it. Uh, fiberglass it a little bit, then bondo it. So that's not bad, but another imperfection right there. Uh, so let's tape it up. So it's all taped up already, and it's finally time to put it on the car for the first time, just to see what we're gonna have to cut, what we're gonna have to work with, and how much work we're gonna have to do. Let's put it up. First time putting it on the car, guys. tape up right here because it's scratching it. So I'm going to tape up this piece too. One piece. Now it's finally time to put it on the car. So I'm going to try to line up this, this piece a little bit close to where the side skirt starts just to kind of get an estimate of where it should go. And from actually putting on, you can tell there's a lot of work that needs to be done. As you can tell, all this lifted up from the side, the top, especially the back. Well, the back you can tell from right here, it's not sitting flush because of this piece right here. The bottom piece where the other piece connects, the last piece. I believe it's this one? I think it's this one. It should be this one. Yeah, it's where this one connects. It connects it to it right here. So that's not allowing it to actually sit flush with the body. So we're probably gonna have to cut that. That's probably gonna be the first thing we're gonna do to actually try and get it, make it fit. So maybe just cutting that is gonna make it fit on the body a lot better. But I think that placement looks pretty good right there. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Like I said, just this piece, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the first thing we're gonna do to try and make it fit a little bit better. But for now, we're just seeing how it's actually gonna fit right now and what kind of work we're gonna have to do. Check the bottom. The bottom looks fine. Mm. It looks pretty good, to be honest. So once I actually get it all fitted and everything fits perfectly flush with the body, what I'm thinking of doing with this body line is actually cutting all the way through, just following through and doing the same thing with this piece that goes right here. Uh, trying to make it fit with this, with the groove that it has on the bumper because I can tell that it's gonna overlap it. So we're gonna try and make something fit so it fits with the body and the body lines itself. So that's the left side. Time to go to the right side. I also forgot to mention the fuel cap. So as you can tell, uh, the left one doesn't have the fuel cap door on it. The right one actually has it because the FRS has it on the right side and the TC has it on the left side. So I can tell what we're gonna do is probably just take off the fuel cap and just try to cut along the groove. So it's just gonna have like a, a cut to it. So that's not really that bad uh, how it sits on the fuel cap. Uh, I thought it would be worse. I thought you were gonna have to cut like a hole inside here, but it's not really that bad. It's gonna be like, not even half a circle so that's not that bad so now it's actually moved to the right side so it's time to put the right side up and guys i apologize for this blur that's right here i freaking dropped the camera right now and it has a chip right there so i don't have a backup camera so we're just gonna finish up this video see how this one's gonna fit Mm -hmm. this 
same thing. Try and line it up over here. Well, that one's up. And it's pretty much the same thing as the other side. Same thing, it's hitting right here on this piece that's down here. So that's not allowing it to sit actually flush flush. So that's gonna have to be trimmed down like I said on the other side. And this hole, what are we gonna do with this hole? So most likely we're probably gonna fiberglass the back and then just fill up the whole thing with Bondo. So that's what I have planned for that hole for now. But overall, it looks pretty good. I'm super excited for this project because it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be honestly something incredible. And you know, I'm not I'm kind of challenging myself because I don't want to take this to a body shop. I want to do it myself and you know have the experience of doing it on my own and you know maybe doing it by myself, uh, getting help from some friends and whatnot. But you know, this is something that I want to accomplish myself and not really get help from like a body shop or whatnot. Maybe get a couple tips, like go in and like get a couple tips on what I can do. But uh, overall, I'm ready for this journey. I hope you guys are ready for this journey. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a good one. And it's going to be worth it. I wanted to show you guys from the back, but this damn camera's broken now. Freaking lens chip. So... I apologize for that, but this is where I'm going to end the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the beginning. It's going to be a long journey. Hope you guys stick with me through it all, and it's going to be amazing, guys. Peace out. Embrace yourselves. So now that everybody else is gone and only the true and loyal supporters are actually here, uh, I want to let you guys know that we reached 500 subscribers, and honestly, that's freaking amazing, and, you know, like... 500 might not seem a lot to like some people compared to other people on here on YouTube But 500 to me actually does mean a lot I'm thankful to have a family like you guys that support the channel So I want to give back to you guys and thank you guys for that So I'm, I'm gonna be looking for five comments that catch my attention It can be any comment out there if it catches my attention I'm gonna be giving you one of these stickers of my car uh, with the wide body kit that I'm gonna be putting on so leave a comment anything you want if it catches my attention I'm gonna be messaging you straight on YouTube uh, asking for your address so I can send it and ship it to you guys so thank you guys honestly from the bottom of my heart I want to thank you guys a lot this it, this wasn't just me doing this this wasn't just you guys doing this this was us as a team as a family and you know I really appreciate it and I'm thankful just thank you guys Thank you.